Hello, hi everyone. I'm Rick Kirkham of inhomecomputerhelp.com. And let me see if I got my microphone here. Yeah, there it is. I want to tell you about a computer virus that was not a computer virus. Okay, it was, uh, in this case, it was actually a form of malware, but it's a, it was a form of malware that's a very common uh, item to have uh, on your computer. And that item is called push notifications. So push notifications are these little messages that pop up in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. And Microsoft has a lot of them. So it might be hard to tell for some people whether or not something is a push notification from Microsoft or whether or not it's uh, from a third party and whether or not it might be malicious. And that's what this one website did. Let me, let me show you here. So now don't go to this website because it, if it's ever reactivated, they might start up again with their virus attacks. that are not virus attacks. I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, what this site here did was a little pop-up would come and say, click here to prove that you're human. What would actually happen is that gave permission for push notifications. And what my client told me was he was getting these messages in the lower right hand side of a screen. And what I asked him was, now wait a minute, now are you getting these messages after you've left the website? And he said, yes. I said, okay, we might have a problem. I wanna check your computer. So I made a house call and I checked his computer. My virus software, antivirus software did not find a virus. Okay, that's because there wasn't one. Push notifications are not viruses, but what, could have happened was once again over in the lower right hand corner the warnings he were getting would have had him download viruses this was basically what we call scareware scareware is malicious software that tries to get you to do something usually without thinking about it so for example sometimes you might land on a web page that says you know might have a big old loud noise and They'll say, warning, if you leave this website, you're going to lose all of your data. You have a virus. Call this number instead. People call that number sometimes, and they give, they give strangers in other countries permission to take over their computer. Okay, and I'm not saying strangers in other countries are necessarily bad guys. They, have, they work for a living, too, just like you and I do. But most of the, well, I'm going to tell you all the time when you have a message come up in a website that says, don't leave this website, call this number instead. Those are bad guys. Okay, period. Don't call that number. But if you do, don't let them into your website or don't let them into your computer. If you let them into your computer, you need to text me if you're on the mainland so I can remote in and clean out your computer for you. Yeah, I know what I just said. Let let the let let this stranger into your computer and clean it out. Don't worry, I'm a legit guy. I've got a family to feed, just like you do. But anyway, uh, so these these uh, these pop ups were scareware, and they would come up and say, "You have viruses. Click here to download such and such. You have viruses. Click here." Uh, you have this, you have that, anything that would scare the person into, into clicking the link in the push notification. Now, the thing was, I noticed that all of these viruses had this same exact website address. So I knew they were all coming from the same place. So what I did was now, once again, I'm here in Edge and... I just uh, clicked up in these three dots. Now, if you ever want to remember what these three dots do, and I'm I'm a teacher, 
computer tutor. I'm always giving lessons here. If you ever want to remember these three dots, then just remember when you're reading a book and you see dot, 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 that means more or continue. Okay, so more information, dot, dot, dot. That's a menu. So from there, go down to settings. And what I did, I subscribed to one of my channels. I don't normally use Edge. So I subscribed to one of my channels so I can actually show you this. And go to cookies and site permissions. Okay, and I subscribed to my YouTube channel. And you do the same thing for this channel or any other channel where you don't want push notifications. Just click on that. Now, what I had to do was, and maybe there is one somewhere secretly, but I had to go in and block everything here by hand. I'm obviously not going to show you that. But anyway, that's what I had to do. From there, the push notifications uh, disappeared. I restarted the computer just in case. And uh, everything was okay. There was not, my scans showed that there was not any actual computer viruses on the computer. If he would have clicked any of those links, then he would have gotten those computer viruses. So uh, be careful about push notifications. But by all means, enjoy your computer. Make sure you have me or somebody like me uh, clean and optimize your computer at least every four months. Some of my IT associates say every month. Uh, if you if you're uh, if you're not using your computer for business, probably every four months is just fine. By then, the computer may even start to slow down, so it needs to be cleaned and optimized. I will speed up your computer for you. Don't worry. Uh, but people in my profession will see things that will mean something to us that you may not see. You know, could be uh, if I'm making a house call, could be a sound the computer's making. Uh, if I'm if I'm remoting in, just like we talked about, it could be a pop up, and I'm wondering, hmm, where'd that pop up come from? Anyway, so. Get your computer cleaned and optimized every four months. By me, if you can. If you're on the mainland, send a text because of the time differences. And remember how to do that little trick that I showed you on removing pop-ups, even legitimate pop-ups. You know, people get a lot of those, and you may you might not be interested in that website anymore. You can use the same techniques to go back into that website. Uh, that you don't want pop-ups in anymore and do the same thing. You don't have to block absolutely everything. You can, but mostly you want to block the notifications. So uh, that's it for now. Just a very quick tip and God bless you. Enjoy your computers. Don't let your computers scare you. Enjoy your computers, have fun with them and have a great day. God bless you.